Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marta. I come from Norway and I love makeup and today I'm going to continue my tarot reading series where I pick out three tarot cards, this time from the Chrysalis deck and then I create a nine pan color story based on the colors of those three cards. And this is going to be for the month of April and I did fit, like I did the reading actually exactly a month ago when I'm filming this because now it's the 28th of April and I did the reading in March <laughs> so I've been really like busy so I hadn't had the opportunity to film like I had the opportunity but I didn't prioritize it <laughs> so I'm filming the second look today and the other one I did like weeks ago so it's actually going to be two looks for this video which I'm excited about because I really like the color story um I can just uh tell you a little bit about how this video usually goes. I usually like show you guys the cards and then um, tell you a little bit about what they mean and then the uh, color story of course. I do swatches and then I do one look or this time two looks. <laughs> so if you're interested in seeing that then keep, please keep on watching. As for the cards that I drew this time it was the Ten of Scrolls which I actually also drew the first time I did this uh, video. Uh, and then I have the sorceress, sorceress, which is the high priestess, which has amazing colors on it. So I was so excited about that. And then I got the two of mirrors. So we have this first card here, which is the ten of scrolls. And the meaning behind that, it is kind of like ti tiger energy representing a reversal of fortune. Uh, you can see that the tiger is captive in like a negative cycle related to an important lesson, which needs to be learned to avoid repeating itself. And the tiger is like known to be quite strong-willed. I'm so sorry if you hear all the construction work. <laughs> uh, strong-willed, confident and resolved. So maybe that's like this is card is like for the past but maybe that could be like a hint for the future that it could be something positive. Then we have the second card right here which I was so excited about because these colors are just so up my alley. They're just so beautiful like teals, greens, purples. Yeah, I just love these. And uh, the sorceress card is supposed to kind of mean like that you have some challenging encounters in, transforma in a transformational phase and that coincidences confirm you're on the right track. And it's about intuition and the subconscious divine knowledge, encouragement to continue spirit spiritual journey. And you're supposed to like kind of feel and don't think so that is more for like the present so i really like this card as you can see the last card is the two of mirrors and it has two beautiful swans and you this is kind of like a uh, meaning of like union and beauty about partnership and everlasting love and mutual commitment loyalty and respect and the mirrors are matching so it's like about pro projecting positive energy so it can reflect back upon you which i really like that meaning and that is like for the future so that means maybe like for love that there are positive things and you can see like one of my favorite flowers down there the bluebell oh i just love this as well <laughs> So with those cards in mind, this is the color story that I created and I really like it. Like I have a couple of lighter ones, like obviously I have the blue ones that are very representative of that last card with the swans and the lake. And then we have more of like these greens and also the deeper blue that fits um, that fit the sorceress card. And then for the tiger it's really just like the purples kind of, so it's just a bunch of different <laughs> colors right here and you can see that most of them have some gorgeous shifts to them. So I'm just going to swatch them out for you guys so you can see how they actually look. So I did add some of my uh, glam glue here just to make the uh, shimmers adhere a little bit better so I'll do that for all the pigments I think just because I really want to showcase the colors like how they would look on the lid. So this is just such a gorgeous light light iridescent shade with like a blue shift and it has several sparkles that I'll show you afterwards. Then we have Terra Moon's fourth dimension which is one of their neon shades which is just so stunning. Then we have here Mistress of the Sea Foam from Tami Tanuka which is a gorgeous purple to green shade and this is just so stunning and I definitely recommend getting this too everyone that likes shades like this because it's just so beautiful. Then we have the lightest matte in the palette which is Matovi Plus by 
Glam Shop and this is just a gorgeous transition shade that works with most of the colors. Then we have one of my all-time favorites from Tammy Tanuka which is the Harpy and it's got like so many colors in it. It's like green but blue but sparkles that go like all over the place. I just really really like this shade. Next up we have Nectar from Glaminatrix, just a gorgeous pigmented purple matte which is relatively deep but not like super deep and I love this shade. You can see how pigmented it is. Next up we have this beautiful bright blue from Pastel Roses called Malagueta and it shifts to both like a green and a pink and this is just a stunning pigment and I bought I bought it loose but I just pressed it dry and it had binder so it's really beautiful and easy to press. Like seriously just look at how it's looking after I did like the full on swatch. It's so pretty. <laughs> then we have the deepest matte in the palette which is Arabian Nights by Terra Moons. It's just super pigmented and so deep and beautiful. Last but not least we have Andromeda by Tami Tanuka and this is kind of like a deeper version of that uh, Mistress of the Sea foam and it goes from like a tealish blue to a purple and it also has green as you can see it's just really really beautiful and finally I got to use it. So here I wanted to show you guys all the shades but in like a little bit of a lower light and with flash on it and you can see just how sparkly these are. They're just so beautiful. So I repeat again, we have Igbiesta by Glam Shop at the beginning, then we have Fourth Dimension by Terra Moons, then it is Mistress of the Sea Foam by Tami Tanuka, which is just so pretty, and then the light blue matte is Matovi Blues by um, Glam Shop, then it is the Heartbeat by Tami Tanuka. As you can see, it's so shifty, so pretty, <laughs> and then it is Nectar by Glaminatrix, which is the purple matte. Then it's Malagueta by Pastel Roses. As you can see, it has like a gorgeous light blue shift that goes through purple and to green. I'm not sure if you can really see that, but it really does shift like that. And like when I'm looking at my angle right here, <laughs> I can definitely see that green sparkles. Then it's Arabian Night by um, Terra Moons and then it is Andromeda by Tami Tanuka. In case that was a little bit dark, I'm just doing it again right here so you can really see the shifts. Oh, I love this. These colors so much. They're so beautiful. I just decided to do a very quick and wearable look because I have a little bit extra time when I'm doing my makeup now so I'm planning to do something with this one, Nectar by Glaminatrix and Mistress of the Sea Foam by Tami Tanuka and maybe use Matovi Blues by Glam Shop as a blending shade and Gviasta by Glam Shop as an inner corner shade. So I'm just going to start out with Nectar and I'm using my 107 brush from Glam Shop. So I'm just putting this in the crease. I think I might just add it all over the lid, but I don't want it too dark on the inner parts. But wow, this, I don't even know if I've used this color before, but it's really beautiful. So pigmented. I don't, I like tapping once and this is like, I get so much product. As you can see, I have it blended out on both sides, not too crazy, and I really already like how this is looking, so I could have just left it like this and added the shimmer that I want, but I will just use the blue so I can see like how does it blend with a purple, because I did add it mostly for the blues uh, in the palette, but I really would like to use this, like my thought behind it was to use it also to blend the purple, so... I just want to check that. That will also be beautiful. So I said before, the um, Glam Shop mattes are just so opaque, so I really like them as transition shades because they kind of just fade out whatever is underneath. So I'm just adding a tiny bit of nectar just to make sure I have the purple 
as high up as I want. I could have just left it, of course, because the blend looks really nice. Something just like this. It's like a very soft, soft blend. So now I'm just taking that purple and adding it to my lower lash line right here. As I said, I don't want too much uh, of colors because I am going to teach afterwards so I don't want to look like way too crazy obviously I'm wearing glasses usually so you don't see my makeup as good so that's why I kind of allow myself to <laughs> wear a little bit extra color so I'm not dragging it any further than this I think I'll have to like fill out I don't know if you can see that but like the tiny gap just right out in the corner there but I'll do that later so I'm going to go ahead and put some, um, I think I'll use my BH Cosmetics Base Booster all over the lid and I'll start out with the lightest shimmer called Uviasta just because I want a relatively soft look so I'll use this one first for the inner parts of the lid and then I will go in with this one and see how much I will use of it for the outer parts of the lid. So glitter glue is added and I'm just going to tap this on. I feel like I want to like have this lightest one going a bit like carving it out almost like the lid oh, it is so beautiful i could have just added this all over the lid because it has like all those beautiful sparkles and now i'm going into mistress of the sea foam and i'm just going to add that all over where i did not add the first shimmer and this one has like such a beautiful purple base with a green shift and as you can see now i'm kind of working them together to have a mix of those where they meet so I'm just going to finish off the rest of my face makeup. This is how my like wearable look turned out. It's not like super wearable, but I love how it turned out. These shadows are so beautiful. And I only used two mattes, which is kind of unbelievable with how well they blended and I just love it. <laughs> uh, my highlighter is Moonlight from M Cosmetics, which is one of my favorites. Like just look at that sheen. It's such a beautiful highlight. Like if you like a nice sheen, but not sparkly, but still like really glowy, then those highlighters as well as Kristen Lee's highlighters are amazing <laughs> and as you can see I didn't use anything for my lips because I am going to school or to work or teach <laughs> and uh, I'm going to wear a mask on the bus so I don't see any point with wearing lipstick uh, for that so that's why I didn't add anything and yeah uh, my lashes by the way are Vice Free from uh, AliExpress that's where I ordered them in A04 I really like these they're like not super dramatic but still gives me volume and length but yeah I think that's what I wanted to say I love this look but let's just move on to the actual look that I was planning to do with this palette so for this look I really want to go in with more of like the blues and the greens so I think I'm going to do a halo look using this uh, Arabian Nights by Terry Moons for the inner and outer crease and then I want to use this one for the inner parts because I think it will blend nicely with a deep blue for the lid I think I want to use this one for the outer and inner lid and we'll just see which which shade I want to use for the middle so I'm just going to take my Glam Shop brush. This is the 022, which is like a really nice detailed brush. And as I said, I'm just going to place this in the inner and outer corner. I'm trying not to make it too elongated because I don't like that as much with halo looks. And the base I'm using today is a mix of the Smashbox primer with my Makeup Revolution concealer just to add a little bit of like coverage for my eye. I think I don't need much more than this to be honest. I'm just dragging it a little bit upwards since I'm doing a halo eye and just slightly blending the edges a little bit. <laughs> and also here adding it to the inner parts, trying not to go too far up just so that you can really see that deep part there. And then I'm also just going to connect the lower lash line 
to this. Now I'm taking my Glam Shop 019 brush, which is a relatively small blending brush. It is clean, I just can't cleaned it with my brush um no oh, my color switch <laughs> it's just a little bit stained but i'm just taking fourth dimension here by tara moons and i'm just going to be placing that for the middle right here oh, i just love all of tara moons neons i hope this will blend nicely with the blue i really feel like this just like all the tara moons mattes they just apply so effortlessly they blend so effortlessly they're super opaque I just really really like them <laughs> so I have a lot of mattes from them and not very many shimmers but their mattes are literally like some of my favorite shadows so as you can see I did blend these a little bit together but I also want to go in with that light blue shade from so as you can see I did blend them a little bit together but now I'm going to go in with my S5 brush from Kaleidos Makeup and I'm going to use Matte V Blues right here which is from Glam Shop Looks like I'll have to do the blending down here after I have removed all the fallout because like I can't blend the light blue on top there. A deeper blue shade if I do that. So I'm just going to the inner corner right here and I'm trying not to like add way too much of this shade. So something like this and I'm just going to go back in with that green and maybe a little bit of that deep blue as well just to make sure i have the blending where i want it and that's basically it for like my lid except from the shimmer uh, i as i said going in with the blue just to deepen it up and make sure i can actually see that blue because with a halo eye i'm going to like make the shimmer go a little bit up here so i also try to like make the deepest mattes go a little bit more upward so you can still see them a little bit. <laughs> so I will be going in with this shade, Gviesta, I think it's called by Glam Shop, and I'll use that for the middle part of my lid and then I'll blend it into the Harpy by Tami Tanuka. Mm. So I did already add my BH Cosmetics Base Booster and I added it like in a sort of triangular shape right here and I'm just going to kind of apply this on the top of the triangle and I'm also like dragging it down on the lid right here and then I'll be able to blend it into the harpy on both sides. I'm just making sure that I have white and opaque um, color right here. I might even use my finger a little bit just to really like rub it in and make sure that there aren't many loose particles. Oh, this is such a beautiful shade. I'm just picking up a little bit of that shade harpy. It is just so pretty and this one is quite a deep one so I'll be a little bit careful when I'm blending them so that I don't blend this one way too far up uh, on the lid because as I said I do just want it like on the outer corners. So I think this is it. I might add a little bit more of that light one just like here so that it doesn't get too like um, diagonal I guess you could say. And it does create like this interesting, almost like a blue shade or grayish blue shade where I blended them together, which is kind of interesting. Um, but I'm just basically going to finish off my face makeup before I do the lower lash line and inner corner. So this is already a quite bright look. So I'm like going all in and I'm just going to take this one for the lower lash line and then I'm going to add this one all over. So this will kind of be just to blend uh, this one out a little bit. So I'm just taking my Kaleidos brush that I used earlier and I'm just going to basically be placing it all over the lower lash line here to give like a nice base. So I'm just taking a little bit of this to have on the inner parts just to not make it like too dark. I did add my glitter glue as well so I do have that everywhere where I'm putting shimmers now. Then I'm taking this gorgeous shade from Pastel Roses. I think it's called Malagueta. I, just, I don't know why but I like always think that that's a Spanish word. I don't know. So I'm just placing this here. Oh that is just so stunning. Just imagine that on the lid with like the green and the blue. But yeah, I think that's it for the look. I'm going to add highlighter, fix my brows and do some lashes. And I'll just come back and show you how this looks all close up.
and that was the close-up of this look that I just did and I really like this palette and the color story it's like when you have bright shades like this like kind of greens with purples and then this deep deep blue it's just like one of my favorite combinations because I love purple <laughs> with basically anything and I just feel like these shades are so versatile and I can just do a lot of different looks with this. Of course, most of them are going to be quite colorful, but I'm really happy with the two looks that I created with this palette. And I'm just so excited to use these colors because I have so many single shadows that I just never really end up using. So I'm really, really... So I just lost the palette to the ground, but luckily it survived. I just had to like push <laughs> this one and this one back a little bit tighter into the pan but luckily they survived thank god um but yeah <laughs> i really like this color story and for the rest of my look i ended up using my color pop lippy pencil in the shade brink and then i used it in combination with my meat matte hue hues <laughs> in the shade sincere i got this like in a mini set years ago and i really like the the balm uh, formula it's really like comfortable and it stays on for a long time so it just felt like that was like a nice neutral but I don't know on me it looks a little bit deeper but I really liked it in combination with this eyeshadow look and for my cheeks I used my glam shop products and I'll leave the names down below I used contour bronzer and blush from glam shop and the highlighter is like, so beaming and it's actually for, from bitter lace beauty I think it's called and it's in the shade Lucid that I got from my friend Katarina for Christmas and it's the first time I'm actually using it and I'm so excited. It's a little bit sparkly but it's just so beautiful and it smells like candy. <laughs> and the uh, lashes I'm using are the Visofree A12 lashes and I've been using them a lot lately so I probably will have to buy me another pair because I really like how dramatic they are but still like they kind of fit my eye so I really like those and I think that's it for this whole video I hope that you enjoyed it please comment down below which of the looks were your favorite and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you like the video that would really help me out so yeah, thank you so, so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!